Open the package. The kit consists of the quality certificate, package leaflet, sterilized swabs, extraction reagent tubes pre-filled with test buffer, tube holder and test card. Tear the sealing foil of the extraction tube and place the tube in the holder. Remove the swab from its packaging. Anterior nasal specimen collection. Ask the patients to blow their nose. The swab tip should be inserted to a maximum depth of 2.5 cm from the edge of the nostril. Roll the swab over the mucosa of the nostril 5 times to ensure that both mucus and cells are collected. Repeat this procedure with the same swab for the other nostril to ensure that sufficient amount of sample is collected. Withdraw the swab from the nostril. NASA pharyngeal specimen collection. Ask the patients to blow their nose. Tilt the patient's head back 70 degrees. Insert the swab into the nostril parallel to the palate, not upwards, until you encounter resistance. Or the distance from the nostrils to the outer opening of the patient's ear is equal. Indicating contact with the nasopharynx. Leave the swab in place for a few seconds to absorb secretions. Remove the swab slowly. Rotating it as you do so. Or a pharyngeal specimen collection. Insert swab into the posterior pharynx and tonsil areas. This refers to the area around the uvula. Rub the swab over both tonsil pillars and the posterior oropharynx, avoiding touching the tongue, teeth and gums. After collecting the specimen, put the swab into the extraction tube. Rotate the swab for about 10 seconds and press the swab head against the tube wall to release the antigen in the swab. When removing the swab, Squeeze the edge of the tube slightly to remove as much liquid as possible from the swab. Install the plug on the extraction tube. Take out the test card. Put three drops into the sample hole of the test card and start the timer. Read the results after 15 to 20 minutes. Positive results. Two distinct colored lines appear. One color line should be in the control region C and another color line should be in the test region T means positive. Negative results. One color line appears in the control region C. No apparent red or pink line appears in the test region T. Invalid result. If the QC line C is not observed, the detection should be ray detected regardless of whether or not the detection line is displayed.